Hi guys, welcome to Foul Brushes. Today we're going to be glamming up Sandy. Um, so here it goes. Let's go. The foundation brush to apply primer all over her face. Then we're going to go ahead and still use the foundation brush to apply foundation all over her face. And then we're going to move into brush number 10F, the concealer brush, to conceal anything um, left over. Now we're going to be using the powder brush to seal the look powder brush number 50F. We're going to use the concealer brush and apply eyeshadow primer all over the eyes to get them ready for the eyeshadow brush number 10F. For that, we are using our favorite brush in the collection, brush number 65E, the large shading brush. After that, we're going to move on into the uh, short shading brush, brush number 45E. We're going to be applying a dark color into the creases and we're also going to be using the same brush applying a color on the lid which is also a dark color and it is easier to pat it on since this brush has really short bristles now we're going to be using uh, the tapered blending brush brush number 35e to blend all of that in and also we're using a darker color to kind of give it a dramatic look and really add depth to the eyes and now we're going to move ahead into the medium angled shading brush a brush number 55 to apply a light shimmery glittery color um, right on the front of the eyelids um, right after we do that we're going to be moving into the angled brow brush brush number 15e to kind of tight line the lashes um, we're going very close to the lash line to make this eye line it's a winged liner and this brush is perfect it has a very sharp edge so it can draw out that precise line now we're using the powder brush, number 50F, to brush away that powder that we put under her eyes to catch fallout. We're adding some glitter liner right above that black liner that we put on her. Um, now we're using the angled brow brush, brush number 15E, to go close to the lower lash line and apply a little bit of color there. Um, we're using the same brush that we used on her eyelids, the short shading brush, brush number 45E, to go again very close to the lash line. Now we're going to go ahead and fill those brows using the angled brow brush, brush number 15E. This brush is perfect because it has the great angle to get into all of those faces. Now you want to be using a spoolie type tool um, along with the brow brush because you want to be able to fill in those extra spaces that the brush might have missed. Um, that tool is actually from Dream Cut Tools that we're using right there. And then we're going to move ahead into the concealer brush, brush number 10F, to fill in and highlight the areas that might have gotten dark while we were um, coloring in the eyebrows. Now this is a perfect technique to kind of get a polished look onto your eyebrows when you're finishing up after coloring in your eyebrows. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in the same glitter liner under her lower, lower lash line because that's what she wanted. Um, we're using the Afara Brushes brand new eyelash placement tool um, which is a perfect guide to applying false eyelashes to your eyes. It is a great um, eyelash tool that you can use. Now we're using the same angled eyebrow brush to fill in any areas that might need filling in. We're going to go ahead and move into the contour using the large angled contour brush, brush number 30F. Always keeping the contour to the outer edges of the face. You want to add the contour also to the sides of your nose where it actually does create shadows using the short shading brush. Now we're using the same angled contour brush to blend all of that in. Introducing our first Luxe Fan brush, brush number 58F, which does a beautiful job in highlighting. The specialty of this brush is to highlight the face. Finishing it all off with the eyeliner brush, brush number 05E, and she looks gorgeous. We'll see you guys next week. From everyone here at Fair Brushes, be beautiful, be beautiful.